For a long time, humanity has been fascinated by the concept of space. We've been trying to reach other planets and study them in the hopes of eventually establishing a colony on one of them. With more and more individuals working on it, this dream is becoming more and more a reality. However, the first and most important item that people require in order to function is reusable rockets. We must fire a rocket as many times as possible during the day. But how are we going to do it? This is where Mechazilla will come in useful for the human species. This is our ticket to the planet Mars. To know more, make sure you watch the video till the very end as we explain how Mechazilla will save billions of dollars in the space industry. Hey and welcome back to the channel. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so that you never miss such interesting videos from us. Let's start with the video. Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX, explained how the new Mechazilla orbital grasping arm will help the Starship rocket. The aim is to catch the spacecraft and its super heavy rocket as they make their way back to the Earth. The approach might be an improvement over the drone ships now employed to return Falcon 9 rockets to Earth following missions. This will save SpaceX billions of dollars while also resolving a big problem that they have been dealing with for a long time. This might enable the company to meet its most ambitious goals such as launching the same Starship three times every day. As a result, it has a possibility of fulfilling its aim of establishing a metropolis in Mars by 2050. This is going to be a game changer. SpaceX will try to capture the biggest ever flying object with robot chopsticks, Musk tweeted on August 30th. Success isn't assured, but enjoyment is. It's one of the more daring aspects of the spaceflight mission that's already forging new ground. The Starship is a completely reusable rocket that can launch over 100 tons or 100 people into space at the same time. The spacecraft is intended to support all of SpaceX's existing operations while also laying the way for more ambitious goals such as a moon base or a Mars settlement. We're all aware that we'll need more and more reusable technology to get to Mars and create a life there. Elon Musk is presently working on bringing this vision to reality. This exposes a lot about SpaceX's plans for the Super Heavy and it looks like they will do the same with their Falcon 9 rockets. Musk also posted a video showing the spaceship launch tower and how it would capture the Super Heavy rocket during the test by using giant water balloons the same size and weight as the Super Heavy booster. The next displayed a simulation of how the launch tower would catch and grip the large, highly heavy rocket. This video has shaken people all across the world as the human race is one step closer to realizing a long-held desire. Many other businesses are working on similar projects, but SpaceX was the first to bring the breakthrough. The under-construction vessel has the potential to become the tallest 394 feet and most powerful rocket, 16 million pounds of liftoff thrust ever to fly. While this scenario is already set to be visually stunning, Mechazilla has the potential to make it much more so. Why was it given the name Mechazilla? Musk has given the launch tower next to the Starship launch pad the name Mechazilla. The pad is located on the company's Starbase facility in Texas, where the rocket will make its inaugural orbital voyage later this year. Musk said on Twitter in April 2021 that if it had legs, it would resemble Mechazilla. This is most likely a reference to the Godzilla film franchise's Mecha Godzilla character. We all know that Musk and Co. are used to naming things after movies or objects in the movies. Many things have been named this way, even the flagship Starship has been named using references from movies and books. So what exactly does the megastructure do? Rocket launch towers are nothing new. NASA notes that the fixed service structure at Kennedy Space Center's launch pad 39A, which is utilized for rockets such as SpaceX's Falcon 9 and NASA's Space Shuttle. This was also utilized for the famous Apollo 4, 8 and 11 missions. From the ground to the top of the lightning mast, it is approximately 347 feet tall. It has three swing arms that provide access to a shuttle stationed on the platform. It also allows astronauts to leave fast and easily in the event of an emergency. But with the Mechazilla, SpaceX is thinking larger. Musk stated in December 2020 that the company intended to deploy the launch tower's arms to snag the super heavy rocket when it returned to Earth. Here are some points that Musk has noted in regards to this. The first thing that Musk said was that the booster will most certainly employ two pins for lifting and catching. Musk tweeted, Maybe it's better to change grid fins to absorb greater load, implying that the ideas are still in the works. It will be similar to catching a ball with two hands. The second thing is that tank treads on the arms will slide the rocket out to line up with the orbital launch pad ready to fly again. This will return the rocket to its original location. The third item Musk indicated was that the ship would have something that would flip out from the ship's lower surface. 
These are the three major reasons that will permanently alter the space game. This will mean that more and more reusable rockets can be made to transport humans. At this point, it is evident that humans will get a chance to witness space at a much lesser cost. The idea is a departure from SpaceX's previous rocket reuse operations. The first stage rocket of the semi-reusable Falcon 9 either returns to Earth on a land-based launch pad or an autonomous drone ship in the sea. During its descent, the rocket burns its engines to come to a halt on the pad. If the tower can grab the rocket and maneuver it back into place on the launch pad, SpaceX may be able to reuse rockets more quickly than ever before. The fastest turnaround time from the previous flight to reflight for a Falcon 9 rocket is 27 days. Musk stated in March 2020 that he wants Starship to be able to fly three times each day. This means that a lot of upgrades have to be made to the current generation's rockets before we can make them fly three times a day. But we all know that Musk does impossible things. If he and SpaceX can somehow pull off this feat, then this will mean a lot of things to the human race and the future of the human race. Musk may come to rely on such a quick turnaround time if he intends to create a metropolis on Mars by 2050. In 2019, he anticipated that the city will require around 1 million tons of cargo to achieve self-sufficiency. If each ship carries 100 tons, SpaceX will need to fly 10,000 times over the next 30 years or around 333 times every year. These are only figures and anything may occur at any time. But when will we ever see this in action? The answer to this question is still unknown. But Musk says that it will be sooner than expected. But we'll have to wait and see if these predictions are right. Let us hope that we reach the Martian surface as soon as possible. More and more companies need to work on such technologies to make sure that humans reach other planets and become interplanetary species. There are a lot of developments that need to be made and we're still in the initial phases. But it is people like Elon Musk that can make this dream come true for the human race and let's hope he does the same this time too. That's all for this video. Catch you in the next one. Check our newest video on the screen. You will be amazed.